Hello, Carrie here, nosy house frau. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're a loyal viewer who understands that being subscribed to this channel and hitting that notification button means that you'll never have that guy in your town that I saw three times this week throwing Cheetos over the overpass onto the highway. I think he thinks he's feeding cars. So throngs of people, at least two, have asked me to do this video, and with such an overwhelming response, okay, okay, stop beating down my inbox door, I've heard you and I am delivering. So let me just give you the highlights and all you really need to take away from the Mango video. Why I quit my drama channel. And in the first part, the very longest part of the video, he basically goes into why he hasn't been online. He isn't going to make videos, but yet he kind of is. But the drama community is very toxic to his channel. Uh, and so he's really staying away from the toxic, uh, you know, the drama community that goes through those machinations that he's trying to avoid, right? So... He's had his little teeny tiny part in it, nothing even worth mentioning. Let's sweep that under the rug and move right along. But the rest of the community is toxic to his channel. So he's not going to be around and he's not going to force himself to make videos. Uh, and he's going to be doing acting, but probably hair, but definitely acting. He hasn't been in a class for five years because he's been busy. So he's really getting back into the hair, but he's getting, he's going to probably act um, and take a class because you can't work on your craft unless you're in a class. So, 16 minutes and 54 seconds into the video, he finally decides to make a long story short. I guess, again, long story short, I'm not quitting my drama channel. I know the title may have implied one way or the other. Mm hmm Yes. It did imply one way or the other. I am definitely of the belief that when someone says they are going to do something, they are going to do it or not do it. That I got from that, too. I can't... I can't support that statement enough. But I know a lot of people probably want that to be true, and a lot of people don't want me to make videos. Well, I think there probably are people who would say that, but I have to tell you, I'm not one of them. In fact, I pretty much forget Stephen exists until people remind me. And uh, that's not to be insulting in any way. I think it's to my credit that I'd rather focus on people that I like, who inspire me. Um, I think that that goes a long way to one's own personal happiness, but I have no reason to wish he'd stop making videos. Certainly, if I don't want to watch somebody, I just don't have to watch their channel. So why does it affect my life if they still make videos? Some, there are some people who I really do think should be banned from YouTube, and I would love it if they just disappeared completely and I never heard their name anymore. I don't dislike Mango on that level, but I do think that one of the reasons I won't tune into his channel is because I don't think he's sincere. I think he owes some people an apology, and I'll give you one name, specifically Nick Snyder. He said terrible things that could be damaging to his reputation and his life. And instead of just saying, hmm, I own it, I know I did something, that's not good enough. I think you have to give people a sincere apology, even though apologies suck. You really should do it. If you've done something wrong and you know you've done something wrong, it's not good enough to go, oh, yeah, no, I know I'm no saint. Moving right along. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I think for me it goes a long way if you include those three things. I'm sorry. This is what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. And also how you're going to not do it again. Though That goes a long way. So that's my take on the mango video. And for those of you who support him and are going to suggest in the comments that I'm just jealous, let me save you the time. That's a ridiculous thing to say to me. Of course I'm jealous. You think I wouldn't want to stay home all day by the ocean with a poodle? My biggest choice being, hmm, am I going to not act today or am I going to not do hair? Of course I'm jealous. I'm jealous of anyone who lives like that. I have to get up with the Amish. You think those fairy lights are keeping themselves on? I'm pretty much jealous of anyone anyway. The hand I've been dealt 50 years old. I've been dealt.